hello lovely friends and welcome back to another video or should i call you money makers money savers so today's video is a little bit different because i am outside of b&m because i have run out of all my cleaning supplies and i'm on a no spend challenge so i've been really really good in terms of like making sure i'm not going to the shop and buying things that i don't need but we've got to the point where i did my last laundry wash yesterday and i've completely run out of laundry detergent i have literally nothing and you know you have to do laundry so i need to buy more laundry stuff and of course there are other stuff that i need to purchase like you know water bottles because we're going to be out a little bit more the weather's nice and so i thought i'd come into bnm and buy a few things but like you guys know if you've watched one of my videos where i talk about some of the habits that i've kicked out to help me with my no spend challenge one of them is bnm and my love for it and the amount of extra stuff that i buy so i've come here and i'm gonna test out my willpower because i really don't want to be spending more than I should be but I am interested in seeing what's in store and what's available but let's hope and pray so I've gone in mind with getting a certain amount but I'm hoping that at the till it will match the amount that I've actually got saved up so I've come with cash and hopefully that will deter me but my card is still there <laughs> so I don't know if it's actually going to make a difference but I'm hoping we can do so so let's go in and see what there is in B&M as well as obviously buy the things that I need to buy and hopefully save money by not doing impulse purchases so wish me luck guys let's go see this is what I mean the first thing and I already want these I don't have space for them but how cute are those so I have to switch the voiceover just because the Tainoi was really, really loud and there was just a lot of noise in the background so you couldn't hear anything. So the first thing I did was just head straight over to the cleaning section. I didn't want to go around like I normally do and I just thought, let me just get what I need to get. So the first thing that I needed to pick up was some elbow grease because I have some tough stains on my hob that I particularly don't want to fuss and worry about and elbow grease has always helped me out. I didn't have any so I picked that up. Then whilst I was there, I did notice that I do need some additional pink pout some pink stuff so I usually buy the pink paste but I'm trying not to get too distracted <laughs> with the other ones so I'm just gonna go ahead and just pick up the pink stuff paste and just pick one up and just use what I have and then when it's finished I'll come back and replace it when I need to So, so far so good, I've just stuck to what I've gotten, let's keep going. Right, the second thing like I mentioned in the car was that I needed to get some laundry detergent. I've run out and I've actually just scanned through and I can't see the one that I want and I'm looking to see if they've got any more in selection but I usually tend to go for the liquid detergent rather than the powder detergent and so I'm just scanning here to see what is available because I can't see the one that I normally purchase but I do have an option here that I, I could use which is Ariel or Daz and so the first thing that I go to which is actually a really good money saving tip is to not just look at the price but look at the price per unit so I can see here that they've got Ariel for $8.99 So I'm just looking at the price per litre, whereas for Daz, you can see that there's a cheaper price and you're getting slightly less, but it works out cheaper. So it's just worth having a look at that and seeing what's the best deal for you. But it looks like I'm just going to have to go to Costco and get the one that I want. But for now, because I still need to do laundry, right? I'm just going to pick up the Daz one and hope that it will work really, really well. I've heard good reviews of it. So let me know in the comments below if you have used Daz before and I will test it out and let you know how that works out. So we've got three items. We're still on track. Let's hope I don't get distracted. And so the next thing that I do need to purchase actually, which is happens to just be on the same aisle, is some fabric softener. So I usually just buy the big bulky comfort from here. So I've just picked one up. It was actually quite busy in B&M. So I just picked one up, put it in my trolley and headed off. Right, 
this is now where I get distracted because as you can see now there's so many other cleaning items here's another set of elbow grease stuff but no I'm just gonna stick to what I normally <laughs> have um, and then I use the flora because I really like the flora I like the scent I like that the fact that it's a disinfectant but again so many options so it's really easy and normally I would just pick I would pick as many scents as I want But what I like to do again, here's another money saving tip, is to have a look again at the price per unit. Because if you'll notice, they had three different sizes on there. So this is the first one, which is 120 mils for one pound. And you can try and see what the unit price is on there. Or you can get 250 mils for one pound 99. Or the third option is to get the slightly bigger one for 3.99 now i worked out that 120 mils for one pound means you get 240 mils for two pounds so it just makes sense that you go for the 199 one because you're getting 250 mils for one pound 99 so you're saving yourself one pence which is still a saving right now the question is which scent am i going to pick that's the hard bit but because it's summer let's just go with summer breeze now i was contemplating whether to get multiples but i just thought let me just get one finish that one see what it's like and then maybe come back for more and then the next thing on my list was bleach now i tend not to use too much bleach on any part of my house other than the toilet but yet again i always try and make sure that i get a really good deal so 39p seemed really really good to me and i think that might even be cheaper than aldi let me know in the comments below if that is cheaper than aldi and then of course whilst i'm doing that i'm checking to see how much it costs for a slightly bigger one or slightly better formula but it still works out cheaper to just get the normal normal bleach now i don't know that there's a difference between like store brand which is the easy one versus like domestos or something like that but i just go for the cheapest one bleach is bleach right and then i came across uh some fairy liquid as well which is something that i always buy so i just went ahead and picked up this huge pack which was for 199 and i tend to just buy it because i just buy like once or twice a year and then just use that all right so there's only one additional thing that i need to buy which is screen mask in my car but i am interested in seeing what else is there so let's go have a look right so the plan was to go get some screen wash but i remembered that i don't have an air rack <laughs> the one that i have for drying my clothes is now on its way out like pieces are missing it's kind of like slightly wonky so i thought i'd go ahead and see what areas they have in store and they had quite a few in stock and they were 12.99 which i thought was really really good in fact that is probably the cheapest that i've seen anywhere else so i'm just gonna go ahead and grab one of those because we do need them but of course i get distracted really easily so the next thing that i saw that looked really really good are these mops and i i have a thing about mopping the house every night where i can and i just saw this one and i thought it looks really really nice i also saw this amazing window cleaning set like who doesn't want that but i have to really really hold on to the fact that i'm on a no spending challenge and this is testing my <laughs> impulse purchase uh, need so I also saw this one spray and it looks really really good and I just thought you know what no I have enough at home so let's keep going. So like I mentioned another thing that I was looking for is water bottles and and B&M has got a plenty of them. Now it's just finding one for me and one for my son because my son has one that he uses for school but I don't want to get that mixed up with going outside and then if it gets lost we're stuck somewhere. So it's just easier if I just get one for outside the house and one for school and I came across these ones and I thought they're so cute but I bet you I cannot find my initial on there so I've given up. I saw these ones and I thought these were really cute as well very plain very simple and of course if you have you know you can get one matching of your initials for you and your children so yeah, I thought that was really really nice um, and they had a variety of them I like this one because it has a times that you need to drink your water so you can keep up to date with the amount that you are drinking but what I was thinking was that it's not see-through so I don't know how that works mm -hmm. 
these are really cool and they are four pounds i believe so there's so many options the alternative another alternative is to have these huge ones that you can just put in the car or carry them wherever you go but i just think it'll just be really heavy so that's not an option for me but there's so many in store so you can get the ones that work best for you i found this one hidden at the back so i don't know if i've taken somebody that was trying to hide them but i quite like this one it's an eco colored glass bottle it's really got a really good weight on it and it's really pretty and it was three pounds so i think i'm gonna pick that one for myself and then i'm now trying to find one for my son that's gonna be really easy convenient for him to use and i think i will settle for this gray one so i've now got two water bottles one for myself one for my son for when we do go out that we can keep hydrated all right so now you would think that i would just go to get the screen wash but on my way to the car section i found these beautiful plates and i quite like this pattern of these cute little doggies and you can have like an entire set matching of these of this pattern so i thought oh this would be so nice and had i not been on a no spend challenge i would definitely have gotten this set and i would have just been like you know what this is my summer set and we are going to be using these so they had loads of different styles in store and you know if you're thinking about plates i would definitely recommend bnm i also saw this tea towel and i just thought this is really pretty like i like the aztec pattern and i also came across these selfie lights so if you're thinking about starting a youtube channel definitely go for it if you're using your social media then lighting is such an important thing so i would highly recommend that you get a ring light and they had them in bnm now i already have some at home so there was no need for me but this is the one that i've always wanted the two-in-one streaming stand because you can use that in your car it's quite portable it just clips on but i had to push myself away from that <laughs> and just say you know what no i do my all, all my recording at home so there's really no reason for me to be using multiple ring lights um so yeah if you want to get one go check them out in store they're 10 pounds and then i also saw that they had a variety of handheld fans and home fans now it's getting to the time where the sun's about to come out very much in england and it's probably going to get really really hot so it's really helpful to have hand fans and i was going to pick the pink one up and i remembered i already had a hand fan at home so the no spend challenge is being really really good for me because i would have picked two up one for me one for my son but like I said, they have a variety of air coolers and fans in store. So do check them out if you need them. And they've got loads. So this is probably the best time to do it, to buy them rather than wait till the summer comes and then there's a shortage of fans going around. Now, this is the one where I really struggled with because I, I need a new iron, but I'm going to use my iron till it completely goes out and I'll buy a new one. But this Steam Power one for £49 is one that I've had my eye on for the longest time and I really wanted to get it, but I'm going to hold out until my iron stops and then I can think about that. And then of course, another thing that I talk a lot about on this channel is about making sure you're trying to do as many summer activities as you can for free. And one of the things that's really helpful with that is a cool box. So I saw this one, thought, you know what, this is really good. Maybe I should pick this up because you know, we're gonna be doing lots of picnics. It's electric, so you can plug it into your sockets or you can plug it into your car. Um, like I said, look, see, it's perfect for camping, trips, picnics and barbecues. But the reality is we don't really need one. So I'm just gonna, not buy it but i just like that it's electric and you can plug it in different places so maybe think about that or just get a normal cool box and then this was just for the sake of it was there and i could see that there were loads of them and people were picking them up but you know if you've got grass and you've got you know a lovely garden then maybe it might be worth getting a grass cutter i don't really know much about them other than I just saw a lot of people picking them up and they seem to be a good price, £60 for a good one. So, Then of course, you know that I'm 
also trying to start my gardening and I really love buying plants for B&M. I've bought so many plants from there and they're still alive, which is making me optimistic that I can actually grow plants. So I saw all of these and I just thought they were really, really good. I was about to go into the garden centre and I thought, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to hold out and I'm going to just stick to my plan. But I was interested in seeing some of the succulents that they have. But these just happen to be the succulents that I've already got in my house. And they're really beautiful. The pots are lovely. And you get them for £6.50. I've already got that one. I've got that one in my bathroom. And I've also got the aloe one as well. So absolutely absolutely recommend you get those then of course the other thing that i was considering getting in bnm actually it was on my list was to get everything to help me with gardening because as you know i really want to start this summer growing some vegetables and fruits if i can and so one of the areas was thinking about what can i buy and i was about to get these potato ones and i realized it's just sprouting potatoes and so i can sprout potatoes at home i, I I, I tend to sprout potatoes at home <laughs> so I will just leave those there and I will just wait I'll pick like a few potatoes in my pantry and I'll wait for them to sprout and I will grow those instead but they had so much in store ready for the summer that you could get and if I was not on a no spend challenge I would have bought so much so for example they also had this amazing eight foot trampoline and I just if I had a garden and I didn't have one I would have definitely bought that today but yeah they have an eight foot trampoline in store I also found that they had a six by three meters marquee for 80 pounds which I just think is such a bargain so you know if you want to host events in your house then you can have either a marquee or a gazebo for a very affordable price so I was really really impressed by those then the other thing that I found is I bought these from Poundland last year, two five litre water containers and they were so handy when it came to like taking my son out for picnics. We would have water, we would have everything that we need. Then of course, as you can see, they've also got disposable barbecues, which I'm a huge fan of. And then this is another thing that I hadn't put on my list, but I really considered purchasing, which is a window screen. So over summer, like I like to open all my windows to let as much air through. But what that means is that you get a lot of bugs coming in as well. But this window screen is like super easy to install and you can just keep all the bugs out. And I almost put it in my basket. Then I thought, no, I'm not going to do it. But I actually regret that now. I should have picked one up or two, at least for the windows that I keep open the most. Anyway. Then I did venture out to the home section. I didn't want to because this is now where the biggest temptation comes. Like check out this cute blush and grey side tables. How beautiful are those? And I've been had my eye on these hanging wall frames for the longest time. They're so beautiful. But I decided just to have a look at them. And of course they had a whole heap of home decor stuff. And I'm a huge fan of getting as much home decor as possible. I used to spend a lot of money on home decor. And these are absolutely beautiful. I love this print. And you know, if it had been normal times, I would have been like changing my whole house for a new summer theme. And this would be the theme that I would have gone for. I mean, look at this rattan style tray. I really like this and it's affordable, it's eight pounds. But yeah, you can imagine you could have such a good collection of things or you could just switch things out for summer, which is what I normally do. But this year is gonna be a little bit different. I mean, I would have gone for this pattern. I really, really like this. And check out the tea light holders. They're so cute. And so they have a lot in their home decor section that you can just have a look at. Even these tea light holders, absolutely beautiful. And yeah, I miss being able to shop in B&M and you know, changing up my style. I also really like that lamp and all these cushions. They also had this beautiful mirror seat, the same theme that could work out 20 pounds, hang a new mirror somewhere higher and see what it's, how it will fit with your new decor. 
and of course they had loads and loads of storage baskets available in all styles plastic whatever it is that you wanted they had all these cute storage baskets there and i just think they look so nice and i would have normally at least picked up one or two to like put laundry or to put different things in but you know they're affordable as well four pounds but this time we're just gonna use what we have and I will do a declutter before I buy anything home related. I also saw these and I just thought they were so beautiful, these round cage tables. I'm pretty sure they're so much cheaper in B&M than I've seen them anywhere else. And check out this, this side table with a, so, a solid marble top as well. Absolutely stunning. And it was for £40 as well. So absolute bargain. And then the last thing that I came across were these masks. So they are selling masks in store. You can get re reusable face cover masks. You can get disposable ones for quite a good price. And of course, they've also got these children ones as well for 50p. So if your kids are wearing face covers or face masks, then b and might be a place to consider purchasing them. And they also found they had these make your own three pack covering kit masks. And I just thought these were really, really cool. So you can make them by yourself. So I really, really like that. And then as usual, this is something that I would have definitely bought a hand sanitizer dispenser for seven pounds, but we've got enough hand sanitizer in our home. We don't need a dispenser for it. But you know, they had so much when it comes to that side of things. They even had this huge hand gel that you could use obviously in your hand sanitizer dispenser. So I am super impressed with myself. I managed to stick to my budget. How exciting is that? So I haven't gone overboard. I'm impressed. Let's see how much this comes up today. Everything is in the boot now. I'm actually impressed. Just one IKEA bag of stuff, and I managed to get the screen washer in the car as well. And my air air so yeah. Let's go home and I'll tell you exactly how much I spent. So we're back at home now and I just wanted to share with you everything that I bought. I've also got my little receipt here to show you. I'm so happy, like, <laughs> how sad am I that I'm happy that the receipt is not that big. It's teeny tiny, so i um, really, really happy about that. I'm going to share with you what I got and I'll tell you at the end how much that costs, right? So here's what I got. So here is my small tiny haul. Didn't buy much, just bought everything that I needed. Um, so like I said, the first thing that I got was this massive bowl of elbow grease. It's gonna help me tidy up my cooker. That's mainly why I bought it. All right, and then the next thing that I bought is the flora, which is what I use to clean my entire house. Now I'm, I'm trying this whole minimalism thing, which is like one cleaner for everything. So this is what I use to clean the entire, all the surfaces in my house. And it works really, really well. It's a disinfectant. It disinfects everything. Uh, and the only other thing that I use that's different is I use bleach for my toilets and anything that needs basically bleach. But those are the two main products that I use for everything, all the surfaces in my house. Um, other than obviously if it's a little bit tougher then I also use pink stuff. The reason why I bought this is because my son's shoes are white and they're really, really scuffy and I didn't wash them straight away. So I need to wash off all the stuff on there and I know the pink stuff works really, really well. And then I purchased Daz. Now they didn't have the one that I wanted so I probably will have to go to Costco or wholesalers to get my normal washing up. But I did get Daz so I hope that works really really well and then I bought the comfort uh, fabric softener as well so those are really good and then like I said I also bought fairy liquid so I usually tend to buy this like once every I don't know how many months I hardly ever buy this I think I buy this like twice a year and it's enough to keep us going so the reason why I decided whilst I was there to top up is because this one is pretty much almost at the end so that's good to have and then like I said I bought two water bottles so I bought myself this water bottle and my son this water bottle for when we do go out that way we can keep hydrated and of course the the last thing was I bought the era as well so that's what i bought and i spent a total of 40 pounds so i'm really really happy with that because the most expensive thing on there was the era which was 12.99 
and then after that was the fabric softener and the laundry detergent which was 4 dollars as well they were both 4 dollars so I'm pretty pretty happy with that to be honest with you I didn't pick up anything else <laughs> and I'm super excited so it means that actually a lifestyle habit has been changed and I'm super duper happy about that because part of also the money saving thing is also learning to stop buying things just for the sake of buying them and that's a lifestyle habit that I didn't want to keep so yeah I'm super excited about that but yes if you have enjoyed that video and you want more videos in this manner please make sure to hit that like button to subscribe and of course to share this video with someone who wants to make a positive impact on their finances don't forget to check out these videos which will show you everything that I am doing to help me save money as I am on a journey to financial freedom and financial independence and early retirement and I'm sharing all the tips and tricks that are helping me along the way in the hope that they will help you too. So do check out these videos which will show you everything that I'm doing because I'm documenting all of it um, and of course if you want to get free money make sure to hit that stocks and shares link down below deposit money and you could get up to 199 free pounds so do check that out and thank you so much for all your support i will see you in the comments below and of course i will see you in the next video do take care bye